Nighttime workers of Reddit, what's the freakiest stuff you've seen on the job? I'm a nurse. So I see a lot of freaky stuff working days at the hospital as well but I used to work nights. There's a common phenomenon amongst dementia patients called sundowning. A dementia patient can be sweet and innocent all day but once night falls they do a complete 180 and become agitated and often hostile. Also more patients die on night shift for some reason. They always seem to want to crash around 3am. My great grandfather had sundowners. During the day he was perfectly lucid. Remembered who people were. Even called my grandmother all the time. When the sun went down he thought he was living in a hotel in Boise in 1939. My greatest fear is that I'm not actually doing this right now. I'm reliving 2020 from a rest home somewhere in 2050. Train inspector here. Walking a train in the middle of the night. Pitch black. Come up to a freight car that had four hobos sitting in it. Just staring at me. Dudes never said a word. Just watched me. I eased by them. And kept going. But couldn't get past the feeling of them behind me for a good while. I used to work nights in a hospital setting. At one point. I was taking the city bus to work. There was a lady who got off the bus and left her baby. Her baby. The bus driver pulled the bus over and tried to find her but it was night time and he couldn't find her. He called the police. Before the police got there. The woman came running back. Realizing that she had forgotten something. My boss did not believe me when I told her why I was late. Worked as office cleaner before COVID. 11 to 7 a.m. as a one man team. One stormy ass night. I was on the phone while working when my connection started to fade in and out. All of a sudden there is just a deafeningly loud shriek coming out my phone and the power goes out. Even the emergency lights. I remember looking out the window of the 10th and seeing the whole industrial park black. I worked nights at a dog kennel. During the night we just walked the dogs around the parking lot so they could go to the bathroom. The parking lot was surrounded by a wooded area on most sides. There was a stray cat colony living in the woods behind the parking lot. Every time I'd walk a dog through the parking lot the cats would sprint away and hide in the woods. They did not like the dogs at all. They were terrified of them. One night I'm walking a dog and I see the cats. But this time they're sprinting out of the woods toward me. All the cats just kind of gather in the middle of the parking lot. Completely ignoring the barking dog I had. It definitely freaked me out. What was out in the woods that scared the cats out so much that they came running towards me and a dog they were usually terrified of? It was probably just a few coyotes or something. But it felt really creepy wondering what was scaring the cats so badly just out of view in the woods. I worked at an all night diner while I was in college. One night at about 2 in the morning. A 4 year old boy wandered in and said he was there to get some food for him and his little sister because they were hungry. When the manager asked where his parents were, he said they were sleeping at home. And that they slept a lot and yelled at him and his sister to be quiet a lot. Turns out he lived at an apartment complex adjacent to the diner. And the parents were heroin addicts. It was heartbreaking. I worked the midnight shift at a crappy little gas station and saw a lot of weird stuff. The guy who claimed he was going to hit it big on the lottery. He would come in with an old baseball card album filled with his past lottery tickets. Like 10 years worth of old tickets. Each week he had a new scheme. Using crystals to divine the numbers. Using previous winning number combinations and dividing by specific numbers. Etc. The lady who would always pay in pennies for the pack of camel wide non filter. Soft pack only. The meth addict who passed out in his car after buying a 44 ounce big gulp and a bunch of those energy pills. The same person who once a month would steal a 12 pack but because he was part of the manager's family. Blind eyes were turned. Not specific to working night shift. But dead people. I work in a nursing home and unfortunately people dying is the name of the game. Sometimes you see people declining so you know they're on their way about. And you do 15 minute checks on them and catch it fairly quickly. Other times people seem fine and they just go and you don't find them for an hour or so between doing rounds. 
I once spent a long time trying to convince a resident that the angel of death wasn't waiting for him. I sat with him for a while. He shared a hot cocoa. I checked and double checked his vitals. Did all of his cares. Held his hand and talked to him about life until he felt better. He was smiling and calm again when I left his room. I finally left his room to wrap up charting and to check in with the nurse. He was gone when I checked in about 30 minutes later. That one hit pretty hard. Used to work overnight at Walmart. I was tasked to stock automotive that night. Furthest corner of the store away from my other co-workers. One of the few times I wasn't listening to music with earbuds and so I would have heard if someone was near me messing with shti. The doll aisle is only a few feet away from where I'm stocking. I walked past the aisle coming from the warehouse and a doll on the opposite end of the aisle started crying. Scared the black off me. Edit. I was working overnight at a hotel and a guy came in with a hooker. Super confidently pours out a little pile of coke on the counter and tells me it's his payment for a room. He was more surprised than anyone should have been when it didn't work. Not freaky but I was sitting on a loading dock at 3am, very dark, smoking a cig. Saw a cat and I tried to get it to come over. It did. It wasn't a cat it was a raccoon. Still fed it a cracker. A gorilla. I work at Walt Disney World in Florida. And more specifically I work at Animal Kingdom. Which is half theme park. Half zoo. Now. Due to Disney's conservation efforts. They give the animals quite a bit of freedom. They are enclosed. But the enclosures are very large. And their sleep areas are well outside of guest view. It's actually a pretty great setup for the animals. We also don't confine them to their sleep areas at night. So I was working the graveyard shift. 10. 30 p.m. to 8. 0 a.m. And as I turn the corner to cross a bridge into the next area. I see a massive figure on the other side of the bridge. One of the gorillas had gotten out of their enclosure. And was just walking around the park. I nearly shat myself. As. If you know anything about gorillas. They can be pretty violent. I called it into my boss and they told me that this happens sometimes and to just stay away from it and they will get the caretakers to come do their thing. Honestly. It was the craziest thing I've seen in my time there. I grew up on a farm. One night I was supposed to check the irrigation pumps at 2am. It's a 2 mile drive and I am mostly asleep. I park the truck with the lights aimed at the river. When I get out the headlights are projecting my shadow on rapid layers of fog coming from the river. Above that the fog was dissipating into the wildest northern lights display I've ever seen. It was like a sheet being violently shook from one horizon to the other. The farm has no sound or noise pollution there was nothing else to obscure it. The northern lights have a sound. It's like sand on rough paper. So I took several moments to just take in my silhouette was joined visually to green mist across the sky that filled my vision and my ears. I worked at the Arclight, bougie movie theater, and I'm a night person. So I usually got the last shifts. Which meant I had to clear out every theater and then make sure all the trash bags hidden in the back hallway were clear and clean for the morning crew. The only freaky experience I had was seeing hearing someone running throughout the hall. Laughing and just being effing weird. I thought it was a patron who was drunk. But it lasted for a good half hour. Even though I had already called security to come escort them out. The security guards also heard the constant running footsteps and we only ever caught glimpses of the back of the person. Scared the shti out of us. Next day. I pull another night shift and see one of the guards who was on duty. He said they never found the guy and eventually the footsteps and laughing stopped. Still don't know what to make of it. But that was the only time anything like that ever happened. I stocked shelves at Toys R Us overnight for 5 years. One night. The entirety of 3 walls of board games. 5 shelves tall. 3 feet deep. Fell to the floor. Everything. Except for a single Ouija board. We left early that night. I was leaving work at 11.30 the other night and I hit a fatus with the door when I was leaving. Scared the shti out of both of us. Edit. 
I just realized I left out the word raccoon. Night shift nurse here. It isn't freaky anymore because you get used to a lot of things with this job but. When you have a patient with dementia that sundowns, fairly alert and oriented during the day. Much more confused at evening night, and you walk by their room at 3am and hear this normally sweet old lady just cackling at the darkness. A co-worker who ate a bunch of bananas every single night. Not one. A whole bunch from the supermarket. Not really freaky. But definitely baffling. Would also regularly offer me banana despite me saying every time I'm allergic to them so no thanks. Just bizarre. He also had a drawer in his desk just stuffed full of staplers. Which I know doesn't sound that weird in an office but it was at least 20 staplers. None of which had staples in them. And I never saw him use one even once. Our printers had an automatic staple function so they weren't needed at all. I used to work night shift maintenance at a recycling plant. You'll be amazed at all the SX toys and PRN people throw away. A bunch of dirty dildos flopping down conveyor belts and polaroids of amateurs. I found the guy who was going through people's desk drawers. Did he say he was looking for the stapler? I worked as security at medieval times. Walking around by yourself at night in a semi spooky castle. Especially in the torture devices room. Back in the day I was a security guard. My job was to watch the corporate pool and park at night. This was out in the boonies. Every hour I had to walk the parameter and key this clock thing. It could get spooky at times. One night I was walking the parameter and it felt like something was watching me from the woods. I thought it was my imagination. But I couldn't get it out of my head. My second trip around I was walking and I heard something in the woods. Something big. I was scared. So much so I left work a couple hours early. No one ever checked in. The next day when I was checking in at the main jid house at the factory they asked if I saw the cow. It turns out a cow got free from a nearby farm and wandered into the park. I'm pretty sure I was stalked by a dairy cow. I worked the graveyard shift at a 4 star hotel. I was the security dispatcher. I usually had to stay in the office all night but. Sometimes. I would go for a ride on the electric cart with one of the security officers. I was 18 and this was my first full time job. One night. We were riding the electric cart around the hotel. The scenery was beautiful. The hotel was by the bay. In front of the hotel was a pond with about 7 real flamingos in it. As we made our way to the to the front. We made a horrible discovery. Someone. Somehow without being seen. Had decapitated all of the flamingos and took their heads with them. I worked a 12 hour shift. 6 pm to 6 am. For a trucking company in the IT department. I was the only person in the entire upstairs and after midnight. The only person in the building. Running around in between cubicles passing out reports for the next day in near total darkness. Every once in a while a random phone extension would begin ringing. It would ring and ring and ring and ring and not stop. I would have to hunt it down and answer it. But there would never be anyone on the line. Would always creep me out. I would ask other operators that work nights if they experience the same thing and they have. A technician for the phone co would dismiss it as a glitch in the switching system. But still creepy. I've posted this before but too good to pass up. Actually happened to one of our guards. She was new to the job and in the middle of the night was patrolling our office building. She got lost and a guy in the maintenance room gave her directions to get out. When she got to the guard house she told the sergeant what happened and the sergeant said there should be nobody in there. When she described him. The sergeant pulled out an I. D. Card from the drawer and asked her if this was the person to which she said yes. It was the maintenance guy for the building who had died the year previous. When I asked her about it she said I know what I saw. Around the time that Trump had said something about North Korea. Like returning fire and fury. I was working night shift. And Spasox had done a night launch. Although I wasn't aware of it. So I'm walking from one building to another and look up at the sky. To see this fiery rocket trail. And I'm like. OFCK. 
North Korea is responding. And that makes no sense in a lot of ways. But it was my first thought. After a minute of panicky googling. I realized that Spasux was doing a launch and I had a good laugh. That became one of my favorite things about working night shift. Watching night launches. I used to be a night manger for Sonic. I had just been through a pretty bad breakup. We had been together for a long time and basically lived as though we were a married couple. One night I was in the back parking lot smoking and saw a man walk him go around picking up change. I went to bring him my jar of change I keep in my car. He insisted I not give it to him but I did. Just asked to being my jar back. About an hour later he brings the jar back. It's still full and he put a $5 bill and a little newspaper clipping with a quote circled. I can't remember exactly what it said but hit pretty close to home at the time. We talked for a while. And turns out he's a writer. He told me he used to do mission work with kids in other countries. He said he picks up change to remind himself to stay humble. It really made me relook at my situation and gave me a way better outlook on life from then on. Edit. Thanks for the award. So sweet. A place I worked at until midnight which used to be a nunnery. The radio would turn on by itself and we would hear footsteps and voices coming from nowhere. It had quite a history and a weird atmosphere which made it freaky at night time. I do a lot of long distance running but during winter I have to run at night due to work commitments. I have loads of high vis gear. And a great head torch. But running through trees and wooded areas is still pretty unnerving. I concentrate really hard now. After an incident a couple of years ago. Whilst running at about 11pm. I hear a scream coming from the trees. A proper. Panicked. Anguished scream. I investigated slowly. And because in my head I couldn't be the guy that ran past a murder taking place. As I got closer I still couldn't really see anything but could hear some thudding and dragging sounds. Along with twigs breaking and leaves scattering. It sounded like wrestling in the woods. It was cold and I remember my breath vapor making the light from my torch distort slightly. I move through a bushy area and my light catches two pairs of reflective eyes that are charging towards me. So I run like fck out of these. Followed my two foxes that had been fighting in the copse of trees. That's how I learned that Fox's warning calls to rivals sound like human screams. Husband's story not mine. Back in the day when he was a newly qualified nurse, and the only male one on the ward, patients and their families would pass on thanks to the male nurse that spent the night taking to the patient in a private room. Only thing was. No men had been on duty overnight. Once or twice you would think the patient was confused. But this happened often enough and with patients that were perfectly lucid that you had to think twice about what was happening. I really am surprised they don't set more horror films in hospitals. The long echoing corridors. On site morgues. I worked in casinos for more than a decade. I've seen fights. Drug use. Blatant prostitution and theft. I have known customers who have been arrested for human trafficking. Fraud. Murder and links to terrorist financing. I've seen every possible bodily secretion. I've seen affairs stopped and be discovered. Fortunes won and. Or often. Lost. The freakiest thing? I saw someone impact the floor after a multi-story jump off a building. Can't get that one out of my head. I work in a hotel and have seen some stuff. A guy came and put both hands on the desk and stared through me. I asked him if I could help him multiple times but he looked like he wasn't there. His mate came in. Grabbed him by the arm and took him out again. Had to check the cameras to make sure that happened. As a taxi driver in Glasgow I once watched Donatello, TMNT, kick the utter shti out of Super Mario while SLTTY Alice in Wonderland stood by shouting F King leave it Tom. He's not F King worth it. Best Halloween ever. When I still had the dairy herd. I would spend the night in the barn sometimes. The situation was this was this. If I had a cow that was due to calf and she was known for a difficult calving. I would get up. Dress. And go out and check on her once every two hours. Occasionally. 
If it was during a cold winter night. I would just take an alarm clock and sleep in the barn. The barn was 45 degrees. So I would set up a straw bale bed on the driveway. Use an old coat for a pillow. Stay dressed with gloves on and cover with an old tarp. Usually had a dog and several barn cats piled on to keep me warm. I woke up in the night, I kept the main lights on, with a big tomcat laying on my chest.